What's up guys, welcome back. Um, good morning, it is 9.45 in the morning, Thursday. And i um, just gonna show you that today it's actually been pretty calm so far. Only down $83. So not a lot of movement going on. Everything's pretty small. Here's, here's my watch list here. Let me show you the first page. So Hemp Americana is doing the best so far at 5%, but everything else you can kind of see is in the zero. So not a whole lot of movement going on. It's a pretty calm day. So I wanna take this opportunity to talk about um, something that you might want to look into if you are just getting started investing and you're very scared to lose money okay so if you are very risk averse like you don't want to lose money you're, you're kind of scared about that i want to show you something you can invest in that's really really safe and um, could be a good option for you so that thing that i want to talk about is etfs which stands for exchange traded funds so i'm looking at like some definitions online they're kind of confusing but basically it trades like a stock and instead of owning like one share of one company if you own uh, an etf share you can own little bits and pieces of multiple companies so like that share itself is diversified and so let me show you an example of an etf that i was researching and the etfs kind of go by industry so you can buy like an oil uh, industry ETF or technology ETF, some stuff like that. The one that I was looking at, the symbol is VGT, and that's Vanguard Information Technology Index Fund. So this is an ETF that pays a dividend. You can see it's 1.31%. So it's safe in that regard that you're guaranteed to make money just by owning it. No matter what happens, you'll get that dividend. So here is some general information about it. You can kind of see, let's look at the five-year chart. I mean, that's pretty solid. It only went down in 2012, but it's gone up every single year since then. So it's a pretty safe stock. If, if you wanted to look at something you can just invest in and not really worry about it, or you're just really scared to lose money, uh, this would be a good option. Um, let's look at some more data here. Let's see if I can find the beta. I don't know if it will say it. Maybe it won't because it's different than a stock. I'm not sure. I'm still learning myself, but yeah, it doesn't say that. Anyways. So yeah, you can see that it re did really well the last five years. And here is the portfolio. If you look at the portfolio, you can actually see what individual companies it invests in. Let me give you a minute to look at this. We'll give you a second to look at this graph. You can see all the companies that it, it owns. Not all of them, but these are the top 10 um, holdings, meaning they own most, like most of their money is invested in these top 10 companies. So. They own 13% of their portfolio, which is the most, is in Apple. So they have the most of their money in Apple. Then they have Oracle, 2.52%. You can see the percentages underneath. And they have Cisco Systems. They have Visa. They have IBM. They have Intel. They have the Google parent company, Alphabet. Then they have Google itself. And they have Facebook. And they have Microsoft. So instead of buying one share of each or like of an individual company, buying shares of individual companies, you can buy this ETF and you actually will own all of these, like just fractions of it. Okay, so it's a little bit safer because it's, it's already diversified and it actually owns more than this. It's just this is the top 10 holdings that they have. So these companies make up 54.28% of the total portfolio. So they do own some other smaller companies, but these are the top 10 biggest ones. And you can see that a lot of them are doing pretty well. So it's diversified and you can look at like the past 30 day performances, um, past 25 days, etc. But you can see most of their stocks are doing pretty well. So this could be a good option for you if you wanted to buy this. And the way you would trade it, let me show you how to actually buy it. You would, it's the same way as a stock. So you see how it says stock slash ETFs order. If you click on that, you can just for the symbol, you just type in VGT, VGT, and then you'll see that it pops up right here. And the ask price is $132.42. So, like, let's say, I mean, I literally only have $500 right now, but I would only, like, be able to buy, like, three shares or something like that. So, you just type in the shares, and then you just hit buy. And then you just leave everything else the same. Market means I want to buy it at the current price right this second. And then duration today, qualifier, like I don't even know what that is. So I don't mess with that. And there's only one option here. So really, all you want to, all you have to do to buy the stock is just click buy. I don't know what sell short buy to cover is. I don't know how these work. So as soon as I learn that, I will pass that information along. But I've been doing fine without knowing this. So I don't think you really need to know that if you're just getting started. It's either buy or sell. So buy. Number of shares, 
symbol, mark it, and then you just hit review order. And then, so you can see that I could afford to buy this. It'll cost me seven. And then you've seen me buy options. So like, you know what happens after you click place order, but it'll just say, you know, thank you. Your order for this has been placed. The reason I'm not gonna buy this right now is because um, it's not worth it to just buy three shares because it's not gonna make me much money. And I don't wanna pay a $7 fee on just three shares. So I would, it would make more sense for me to buy more shares, like, you know, as much as I could. But just wanted to show you how you could do that. So that would give you a really, really safe uh, investment. So if you wanna, of course, if you wanna take a little more risk, you can buy shares of individual companies like I do. I own like shares of Nintendo, you know, Facebook, etc. These are all the ones I own. And then I also own call options, which are even more risky. So if you wanna take on more risk, you can make a lot more money doing so. Um, you just have to be prepared in case your portfolio goes down, you have to be prepared to lose money because that will happen. Um, you've seen, what we've lost so far, if you've been keeping up with the vlog. We had one day where we lost $1,200, so that was like, I think our worst day of the year. But we've also had really good days. Last week, we had three days where we made over a grand in, out of the whole week. So, and then you saw on Mon the Monday's video, we made $2,300. So you'll get much higher returns if you take more risk, but if you don't wanna take that risk, an ETF would be a really, really good option. So then again, there again is the VTF. So you see like the percentages that it goes up and down are very are not that big. So you will never see like huge losses or huge gains. You'll just see kind of really small incremental gains. Okay, so then there again, that's the ticker Vanguard information. I'm thinking about when I once I do get more money, I am going to buy these just to kind of be safer about everything because it'll be nice to have some sort of stability. Right now, AT&T is like my safe go-to stock. Um, right now it's up a little bit, so I'm up 10 bucks. You see, I'm not up a lot, even though I own 102 shares. I'm not up a lot, but I do get dividends from that. I get 4.75%. 4 so that's why I'm holding on to the stock. It's really safe and it pays good dividends. About ETFs, you can read, there are other ETFs obviously that you can invest in, even within the same industry. So just do some research on Google, like what are some good ETFs in the tech industry or something like that, or in the oil industry or whatever industry you want to look into. Well, that's what I did and that's why VGT was like ranked number one on a few websites that I looked at. So that's kind of why I looked at that one and added it to my watch list. So when I do end up buying an ETF, it'll most likely be that one. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. All right, so it's kind of a long little explanation there. So hopefully that made sense to you. It's about 10 o'clock, I have to, um, do some more shipping of orders. I gotta ship some more orders today. I also have to tutor three students, I believe. Yeah, three students. After that, we're just gonna come back and see how we did for the day. So that'll pretty much be, that'll pretty much be it for today's episode. All right, we'll see you in a bit. What's up guys? All right, so just got back from tutoring, logged into Scott Trade, and yeah, this was, I think this was our worst day of the year so far. So let's see what happened. Let's see the damage. Ooh. I was at 48 yesterday, so that's not good. Ooh, all, right. all right, so we lost $1,600 today. You can kind of see who the culprit was, though. Tesla. It looks like they just had a pullback. I mean, I really don't think anything bad happened with Tesla today. I didn't read, like, the news, but, I mean, Tesla went down 3%. I think it was just kind of like a correction. I still think it's gonna go up in the future, but I'm gonna to have to double check to see if there's any articles about it. Um, in fact, let me do that right now. All right, well, I looked at the articles and apparently uh, a firm UBS just gave Tesla a sell rating and says there's too many risks that they don't see any reason why it just went up recently. So that is why it is down and that is not a good sign because that means it could be going down some more in the future. Oh, that sucks. So I'm probably gonna have to sell the probably gonna have to sell my option tomorrow just to get out of it because I don't want to lose any more money. Let's just see what my overall. Um, all right. So right now, I still am up 52%. I'm not sure if I can even trade after hours with options. I know I can do that. I know it's possible to do that um, with regular stocks, but I'm gonna see if I can do that right now with with regular with with options. I mean, uh, let me see. Sell to close two. Sorry, it's gonna take a minute. June sixteenth, two seventy five. Call. Yeah, let me see if it'll let me sell it. It says market and stop orders and options are only allowed 945 
are only allowed. Please re-enter using a limit or stop limit price for your option order. Oh, so I might be able to get rid of it still if I do a limit. Let's see if I can sell it. I'll just do 0.75. It's gonna work. Uh, okay, I think it worked. So, all right. Um, so let's see what happened. I've never done an after-hours trade for options before, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Okay. See. Yeah. It's probably not gonna go through. I didn't think it would. It's it's in my open orders now. So, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it because if it continues to go down, it will not sell at that price because that's. Yeah, that's too high, so I'm going to definitely check early tomorrow morning. As soon as the market opens, I'm going to see where the price is at. And if it's still going down, I need to get out before my return goes bad. Because <laughs> I'm still at 52% return. That's still really good. So, yeah, we're going to have to get out of there. Uh, this video is kind of running a little long, so we're just going to cut it short here. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Um, not our best day, but, you know, this is expected when, when more of your portfolio is in options, your swings are going to be bigger. Uh, in fact, tomorrow I'll show you guys my daily gains and losses so you can see how much more the swings have been since I started putting more money in options. And that's expected, you know, um, it's normal, so uh, the stuff happens. So hopefully we just have some more good days ahead of us so that we can make that back and then some. So yeah, hope, we'll just hope for the best. Um, so thanks again for watching. Please like if you liked the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video if you, if you uh, know anybody who's interested in investing. Yeah, if you have any questions, always comment below or any comments, anything you want to say, please comment below and I'll be happy to respond. Other than that, have a great evening and we'll see you tomorrow.